Hello, I am Kanta. I am a container, the world champion of the supply chain, but also the champion of all formalities, administrative and non-administrative. These formalities, which might also be considered as complications, often begin before you appear on the scene and require the operators to take many measures and the size of choices relevant to their businesses. Before my journey starts, the final receiver must domicile a commitment to import that necessitates having recourse to many public and private stakeholders fill out forms, lodge files, which often contain superfluous documents and go through several counters. On arrival, and regardless of the mode of transport and the ink terms chosen, several procedures and checks awaited me, and therefore several round trips. Each one of the entities, public or private, with its own frame of reference, applied its own rules and procedures disregarding the other entities. That was a complexity and an uncertainty that put the entire supply chain community at a disadvantage. And for me, it was a waiting and an uncertainty that lasted 11 days on average. The costs and penalties ensuing from my tying up undermined the competitiveness of my receiver. Fortunately, a paradigm shift happened in 2008, thanks to the convergence of several strategic visions. Citizens and companies became the main concern of the administration. Morocco implemented the single window port net. By bringing together all supply chain stakeholders around a single virtual window, the Portnet platform works constantly with view to facilitating cross-border trade formalities by simplifying, harmonizing, and dematerializing procedures. Portnet contributes to making the relationship between the customer's operators and the authorities more transparent. It also contributes to improving the business climate and promoting good governance. In 2011, Portnet became operational and everything changed. The National Single Window for Foreign Trade Procedures, Portnet, grants access via the same electronic platform to all the concerned services. My ecosystem enables all its users to interact. The importers, exporters, freight forwarders, consignees, banks, administrations, and others. They can trace my itinerary, create or receive alerts, make or receive a payment, and take any decision concerning me. They can do all this safely wherever they are around the world, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The community around Portnet is gradually becoming a hub of community intelligence and information resources. It also helps in taking decisions to optimize operations within its ecosystem. The pooling of data and efforts and updating them regularly makes it possible to aggregate knowledge and experiences. It's beneficial to everyone, especially to the competitiveness of SMEs and VSEs. The dematerialization which Portnet offers meets its objectives, achieving a sustainable development and preserving natural resources. Its zero paper goal helps to save more than 800,000 trees and the annual fuel consumption of 17,000 cars each year. Portnet is now an international reference. It is praised by the WTO for improving the business climate, which enabled the kingdom to win 42 places in the World Bank's Doing Business Index. Portnet is gradually covering all the cross-border trading points of the kingdom. Portnet is open to all importers and exporters in their ecosystem. In addition to facilitating administrative formalities, Portnet aims to complete integration of the supply chain worldwide. Morocco is aware of the importance of the role the international trade value chains play in boosting the economic development. So it works steadily through its single window Portnet to modernize and facilitate maritime, air, and terrestrial cross-border shipping procedures. With a view to consolidating the kingdom's positioning as a hub of logistics and trade in the region, the Portnet community continues to multiply initiatives and efforts to enhance the interoperability and competitiveness of cross-border trade.